Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofinet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to, well, back to uh, another one of my update videos. It's been a while since I've last done this, but a few things have uh, happened, have changed over the past two weeks, and I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update on how I'm doing, what my plans are for the channel, and how you guys can help me with that. So first things first, let's talk about Gwent first. So the last Gwent video I made was uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, and the reason for that drought in Gwent content is because I was uh, sick for the past week and a half. And since the Gwent videos are things that I do uh, during the week and I'm pretty much record and edit and publish those videos in the same week, that's why those videos were missing because I was sick. Um, I'm swamped at work at the moment as well, which is why there was a bit of a delay. There was a bit of a dry week last week as well. Only three videos, which is not, of course, my usual amount. But um, I really want to thank you guys for the positive responses on the uh, five things you might have missed in Gwent video. That was really nice. There was a, a video that cost me a lot of time and effort and it really paid off. So we're definitely going to do another one of those, but it takes a bit of time. So please hang with me for that. My other plans for Gwen, because I'm still a Gwen partner, that is still a thing. Um, I've been playing the mobile version of Gwent as a tester, a beta tester. And um, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of my thoughts on the mobile version of the game, because it's a really, really well done port. Uh, that's also the reason why I haven't played my console version, so on my own account, which is why I didn't have any videos as well. But the mobile version of Gwent, so Gwent Mobile, is pretty much a perfect port. It looks amazing, it runs really, really smoothly, and aside from a few control changes, everything plays the same way as you would expect. It's a really well done port. The only thing, sadly, for me and for other console players is that you can't use your console account on Gwent Mobile. So if you have a PC account, a GOG, a GOG account, you can use that. You have to make a GOG account for the mobile version, but you can't use your console account. So that's sadly for me a reason why I probably won't be playing it uh, anytime soon unless they start merging those uh, accounts. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the console version, but if you have, if you're playing on PC, if you have a GOG account and you're interested or you're new, a new player and you're interested in Gwent, Gwent Mobile is a perfect port in my eyes. I mean, it's one of the most impressive ports I've ever seen of a console PC game being ported to uh, mobile. And it's really, really impressive to see that run like that. But again, as I said, it's a bit of a downer that you can't transfer your console progress over to the mobile version. But let's... Keep our fingers crossed that that one day might happen as well. So that's my Gwent Mobile sort of review. Um, I might, I won't probably do a separate video on that, but my other plans with Gwent uh, are that I'm going to start doing videos about my uh, rank matches. Just showing you guys how I play, what I play, and just aside from just focusing on one deck at a time, because those videos also take a lot of time, uh, I want to focus on my rank matches just giving you guys some pointers while I'm playing uh, so you get the examples while we're playing as well without the need to focus on any specific deck. So each of those videos will probably feature one or more decks anyway, but more in an organic way since we're going to play with them immediately. Aside from that, as I said, another five things you missed in Gwent video is coming up as well, but that's basically all for Gwent. Then over to the channel proper i wanted to change the channel uh ethos a bit the main theme of the channel i want to start focusing more on games that actually allow me to uh, explore in my own way um prey is a very good example of that prey wasn't in the list of video games i uh gave you guys as a choice to choose between for our next series that eventually became borderlands but Borderlands has its issues as a game that you just want to play on YouTube because those quests are really static. You don't really need to make any choices. Every time you play through the game, it's the exact same thing, aside from which gun spawn for you. But even that is, I mean, towards a viewing experience is really, really minor. Um, and I'm starting to feel like, especially in Borderlands 3 now, that I'm starting to 
not appreciate the humor as much anymore the type of humor it's sometimes really drawn out i've uh well expressed my discomfort with it a few times over the course of the borderlands 3 videos so i'm gonna lower the uh presence of borderlands videos on my channel for now and focus more on games such as prey so prey is gonna definitely continue i'm having a really good time playing prey but that also means that there's a slot coming up for another game i have a few ideas for that just to continue the theme of games that give you a new experience every time you play them so it might differ to your play experience so you can view me playing in a different way than you played it as well so you don't know what to expect um my one idea well there's two ideas so either we go for um xcom 2 i'm planning basically uh, to do another XCOM 2 run, but in the Valkyrie challenge mode. If you don't know what Valkyrie, uh, my Valkyrie challenge is, as I did this with the original XCOM, uh, I think it was even XCOM Enemy Within, uh, where I do a playthrough and I give myself the rule to only play with um, deploying female soldiers. So every time I get a male soldier, I either uh, dismiss him or I just try to not even accept the guy. So uh, it's a challenge run where we only deploy female soldiers on the battlefield. And for that playthrough, it's the same as something that I did with our previous XCOM 2 playthrough as well. I wanna involve you guys in the characters that will be present in that XCOM 2 playthrough. I did a similar thing in our first XCOM 2 playthrough as well, where I just ask you guys, if you want to add a character to the character pool that we're gonna pull from, please send me a link to your uh, XCOM 2 female character uh, through the XCOM barracks. I'm gonna put the link down in the description as well. You can uh, set up one of those uh, characters over there and you can send me the either the screenshot or something like that and I'll recreate that character in my game so we can pull those characters immediately from the character pool and you can see your characters in action and hope I just don't outright kill them. It's gonna be... Uh, probably for the next two in the next two weeks I'm gonna start that series which is something to look forward to the other plan is I want to sort of rebel against the uh, train wreck that is Fallout 76 and just go back to where to a better time where Fallout was actually a really fun game to play so we're gonna continue ideas and that's where I want you guys opinion on uh, I stopped my playthrough of Fallout 4 a while back the gunless playthrough where we play through Fallout 4 on the hard difficulty without using any sort of projectile weapons uh, I could continue that so with Bob as a character or I start a completely new playthrough where we're gonna play on survival mode so the hardest difficulty mode where we're gonna need to keep an eye on uh, our food or water or uh, well our health and stuff like that um, a really really challenging mode but I really really uh, like that mode I've experimented with it a bit and uh, it's really something I look forward to trying that as well. But I leave the choice to you. Either we go with Fallout Gunless, Fallout 4 Gunless, or we go with Fallout 4 Survival Mode, which is uh, definitely, in both occasions, I can actually go and put my own touch on the playthrough instead of just going through the motions. So that's that. And then last but not least, we have Group Therapy. Group Therapy is going to be back next Sunday. So we ended Bendy and the Ink Machine last time with a lot of, uh, well, screaming again. L1. Oh, oh, he deboned me. But uh, next Sunday, we're going to go into Resident Evil 2. So we did, um, because of my illness, we just did a recording last Sunday, so two days ago. Um, and that was really really fun. We really really liked the game. We got it going quite a bit A few hours already recorded into that and the first episode of that will air this Sunday. So uh, Oh, that's wow. So flashy I don't think I'm gonna use the ball, but uh, I would run. Oh, 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 oh fire. Ah, I can shoot Oh, he's slow In the face, buddy Please let us know what you think of that because we really appreciate any support you guys can give us so that is basically the new schedule. It's gonna be, um, so still pray, uh, grand video here and there, 
then um, XCOM 2 in two weeks and then Fallout 4 depending on your decision I will continue that as well along with group therapy still on Sundays where we're going through Resident Evil 2. So that's it for the channel hope you guys enjoyed this update uh, let me know in the comment section what you think give me your characters for XCOM 2 give me your feedback on which Fallout 4 playthrough I want to continue or start and uh, thank you guys for your feedback and thank you guys for watching this channel as always. So uh, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.